I think we're moving to a stage now more and more, and particularly in this tough economic time where uh, brands are being defined by their the ideas behind the ad. It sounds a little complicated, but it's not really. Um, an ad is just a manifestation of the idea. So, for example, uh, you need a big disruptive idea like impossible is nothing to do great advertising, whether that's web-based or you build a, a huge monument like the guys did in Berlin on the Ferris wheel. The idea, the disruptive idea, is impossible is nothing. The advertising then hooks into that idea. So much easier to do really, really memorable work if you've got a what I call a coat hanger a disruptive idea that you can hang your different executions on. Otherwise it's a game of, you know, one step wonders, maybe you have a good idea, and then next year, what, start from the beginning again. You need a great disruptive idea to underpin all these different executions. That was interesting, I was in uh, LA um, two weeks ago and we did a little uh, study, if you like, of uh, the latest Pepsi work. Um, I think there's a fantastic disruptive idea that you know, refresh everything. Every generation refreshes the next. Um, I think it's only about four months old now, but you get a sense that there's an idea you can do great work forever on. Um, and it'll go, it won't be defined by a media type. The thinking is so smart, the thinking is so disruptive that, again, web-based, culturally-based, good old-fashioned TV-based, uh, you can peel that idea again and again and again. So uh, you have creative people queuing up with different executions of that rich idea. And for me, that's the first uh, indicator that you're onto something big. I was in the LA office and everyone's got a Pepsi idea. So it's not a organizing principle that paints you into a creative corner. It's one that says, look at this wide horizon, go have fun.